maybe we can use our lazy leg feature to build a very intelligent strategy so the idea was whenever my leg was uh, stop loss or target hits i want to take entry into a completely new leg hello everyone and welcome to algo test today we're going to talk about our brand new re-entry feature called lazy leg what it is what you can do with it what are the permutations combinations you can put in it let's check it out today so this is my dashboard as you know i'll go to uh, create strategy so what was the idea with this feature so the idea was whenever my leg was uh, stop loss or target hits i want to take entry into a completely new leg i might want to change uh, the option type i might want to change the expiry the strike type uh, stop loss and profit target so how do i do that now we have a feature called the lazy leg with which you can make a new leg completely new leg uh, to re-enter if your target or your stop loss hits now let's check it out how it happens so this is my backtest page entry time i'll just keep it randomly at 10 30 uh, i'll exit at three o'clock again this is just a demonstration so what are we trying to do i'm trying to make a non-directional strategy now how do i make a non-directional strategy my entry time is at 10 30 i know between 10 30 and 3 the market is quite silent i want to capture the theta but there are instances where the market might be a bit volatile it might go up uh, or down i'll take the case of it going up hit my call stop loss and then sharply reverse right how do i save myself in this situation let's check it out maybe we can use our lazy leg feature to build a very uh, intelligent strategy where the re-entry happens only if the market reverses and not uh, if the market does not reverse so my entry time is uh, 10 30 exit time is 3 i'll sell a call with the closest premium of 150 so i'll start with a strangle right uh, since it's non-directional i will go with a higher stop loss of 60 percent right and i will do now this is where i'll in, uh, input intelligence into the strategy thanks to the lazy leg feature so i'll do a re-entry on stop loss lazy leg now this is it now i can make a completely new leg right this new leg can have a different uh, a lot quantity i can go from a sell to a buy i can even change the option type i can go from a call to say a put you know you can try it out uh, i surely would love to try it out but for now i'll go with the call sell and this time around i will sell a bit otm so we started by selling a 150 rupee strike but and if my stop loss hits which are which is of 60 percent on the leg i want to re-enter if my stop loss hits with a strike which is currently trading at 125 rupees all right so i will be going out of the money because the current price of the call with which i started the trade would be somewhere around 125 plus 60 percent so approximately 250 i beg your pardon it was 150 to begin with and 60 percent of stop loss so if the current price is 240 i want to go half of that i want to sell it at 125 but when do i want to sell it i want to sell this strike only if the price of this strike reduces by 20 percent again i'll place a stop loss on this leg at 30 percent and i'll click on create and select so let me just go over the call side of the strategy the call side of the strategy is i start off by selling a 150 rupee strike i put a stop loss of 60 percent so at around 240 rupees but once the stop loss hits i select a 
OTM strike which is currently trading at 125 rupees and I'll sell it only if the market reverses and the price of this strike reduces by 20% and if I enter this strike I place a stop loss of 30% all right we'll do the same thing for the put so let's start I'll sell the put stop loss is of 60% re-entry on stop loss lazy leg now now this is lazy leg 2 okay so in this feature I can either select the previous lazy leg that I created or I can create a new one I wouldn't be selecting the previous one because the previous one had a call sell whereas in this one I want to sell a put so what that means special let me let me just explain it to you if I've sold a put for hundred and uh, which was trading at 150 rupees and my stop loss hits say at 240 then I want to sell a put uh, which is currently trading at 125 only and only if the price of that put reduces by 20% right so we'll sell we'll set it up like this I want to sell the 125 put stop loss is 30 percent only sell this only and only if the price reduces by 20 percent so this is my lazy leg 2 my lazy leg 2 is associated with my leg 2 and my lazy leg 1 is associated with my leg 1 it's right, written right here so i'm just going to back test it since 2022 that is a backtest period I feel is more relevant. Okay, we've done something wrong with the time. Yes, 10.30 a.m. Yes, let's just backtest it. All right. Now, this is my non-directional strategy with a twist, which saves me if there's a V-shape movement, if and only if the market is trending during a certain part of the day and then reverses sharply back. So you can see my stats, my stats look uh, decent. You can add your taxes and your slippages, but more importantly, uh, you should definitely uh, play around with this feature. There are so many permutations and combinations I, I, I can do with this. From a selling a call, I can buy a call, I can sell a put. So my call stop loss hits, I want to double down and go double long and I'll sell uh, maybe uh, out of the money or maybe I'm aggressive I'll sell a, a, a ATM put right with maybe a very small stop loss so that if the market keeps on trending I make uh, a lot of money right so I can do that or uh, I can start non-directional but if the market turns directional then I, I run a directional strategy so there's a lot of things you can do you can change your lot uh, lot quantity you can change your position you can change your option type uh, your expiry you can change your strike type you can add individual stop losses targets and TSL and re-entry feature for these uh, lazy legs along with the momentum feature right so I hope you use this very powerful tool that we have provided you for making many more strategies. One very important thing that all the lazy legs in the back test are calculated on candle close. So if you uh, find a strategy and intend on using it, I would recommend to use it at candle close the, uh, when you're executing it live in the, in the market. So uh, that's it for us. I hope you backtest uh, more such strategies and, and are able to take full potential out of this feature. So let's see you guys next time. I hope uh, this tutorial was good for you. Please write your comments and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you.